Good day to everyone. This video is going to give you a quick introduction to the different science combinations that will be offered to you when you enter Sec 3 in 2021. So in Bukit Panjang, we offer three pure sciences, physics, chemistry and biology. We also offer a combined science of physics and chemistry or a combined science of chemistry and biology. So what choices do you have to make? You have to choose between the three sciences to take up two of them based on your interests and preference and future prospects. If you think that science has no business with you in the future, you are more of an arts person or humans person, you may also choose to take up one single science subject and a one single science subject will be a combine between physics and chem or chem and biology. Conversely, if you are somebody who is hugely interested in science, you are very confident of doing very well and uh, subsequently you are keen to pursue a career in science and technology, you are welcome to also choose three, all three pure sciences and then you are going to be enrolled as a triple science student. Of course, all these are subject to you meeting the minimum criteria required for each of the combinations. So this is going to be a, the structure of the pure science examination formats. If you take the O-level pure sciences, each of the sciences, right, each of them will have three papers. The first paper is one hour, 40 marks of MCQ. The second paper is one hour and 45 minutes structured questions. And then there's going to be a one hour, 15 minutes practical, 40 marks. In total, they make up 100% of the O-level score. If you take up a science uh, combined science combination, either physics chem or chem bio, the format of the combined science together is as such. There will be a paper one, one hour. This is going to be 40 marks of MCQ. You are going to take paper two, paper three, or paper three, paper four, based on what you chose as a combined science. Each of the papers is one hour, 15 minutes. And then there's going to be a practical that is one hour, 30 minutes. Okay, so you see, uh, the combined science is, uh, the, the coverage is about half or a little bit more than half of a pure science subject. Uh, and the half is both in terms of depth of understanding and also in terms of the time commitment. So this is your lower secondary science syllabus. Okay, you see that there are 19 chapters. All these highlighted in green are the chemistry related topics. All these in blue are the physics related topics. And all these in red are the biology related topics. So you see that over two years you have learned quite a good spread of the three different disciplines of science. The idea is that lower sex science is supposed to give you a good understanding of all three for you to make an informed decision. Chemistry is a compulsory subject be it whether it is pure chemistry or combined science chemistry. You, you can't choose not to do it. So quickly to run through the curriculum of chemistry with you. Uh, the idea of chemistry is for you to be able to understand studies and uh, experiments on practical chemistry, theoretical chemistry, uh, and also to develop attitude, skills and uh, abilities in science for you to have subsequent interest in, in global, local environment. The set three topics in chemistry look something like this. You learn about the particulate nature of matter, uh, some experimental techniques, how to separate things, element compound mixture, atomic bonding. You see many of these things are actually kind of covered it already in set 1 or set 2. And then when you move to set 4, some of these things are very new. You are going to learn more in detail some of these concepts that is built up from the lower secondary science content. Our school-based assessments for chemistry can include the following aspects. You can do some experimental design which is very important in chemistry, practical, research and of course it's going to be followed by your end of year examination in sec 3. Now if uh, you choose to take up physics either as a pure subject or combined science physics you can expect to learn something about mechanics. Uh, mechanics include measurements, kinematics, this is explaining why things move and how things move, mass weight density, forces, energy, power, pressure, turning effect uh, this is a theme of mechanics and this theme of waves, you will learn about wave, sound, light. If you learn about thermal physics, you will learn about uh, all these various things, about heat generally. And then the last theme is about electricity and magnetism. All these things about static electricity, current flow, electromagnetic induction, so on and so forth. Okay, The physics curriculum is meant for you to be able to understand have a physics way of thinking 
be able to analyze problems logically and of course to prepare you for subsequent uh, pursuits in applied sciences or science related courses. So to, just to give you a brief appetizer, you have seen things like this in lower secondary science. Okay, this is clearly taken from the chapter of energy conversion. When you jump from A to D, there's an energy conversion. So in upper secondary, you're going to learn about all these things again. But in a more complex scenario, for example, the motion doesn't involve like a up and down, but there's some kind of slanted ramp. This thing is being pulled up. Uh, you should have seen a lot of these things in electrical systems. You study how the current flowing through this thing changes when the resistance is different, when the battery EMF is different. If you enjoy doing these things, then you are going to have a lot of fun in upper set where you do more complex circuits, where you calculate different currents at different places. So uh, how we assess people in physics is uh, through a variety of different assessment modes. You can be building concept maps, doing video analysis, tracking motion. Of course, there are also practical and application components. Application is particularly important in physics. Uh, so are you suitable to take physics? You are suitable if, of course, you show a strong interest in the physics components of lower secondary science. And if you are good with numbers, you're comfortable with algebra, you're comfortable with moving variables here and there. Uh, and of course, if you're keen to pursue a career subsequently in any of these aspects, or engineering, data science, uh, IT, software development, systems analyst. So all these are the science, uh, the more hard sciences. Uh, if you want to do any of these things, physics is a very important part of your education. So if you are not any of these people, if you have problems with science, uh, the physics part of science and mathematics, if you have difficulty visualizing shapes, how things move, how things rotate, uh, or how diagrams look like in paper and in real life, then you might not be the most suitable to study physics. Now, the other choice other than physics is to choose a pure biology or combined science biology. So uh, in SEC 3, you learn about the, the first fundamental principles of biology. The, the important things, the foundations of biology will be the cells, all right? genetics, enzymes, movement, uh, diffusion osmosis, and then we talk about how we regulate life processes through nutrition. Uh, you see that there's a lot of focus on not just humans, but also plants. You haven't seen much of plants in lower secondary science. In SEC 4, you learn something deeper, homeostasis, nervous system, all the nerves, how the eye works. And uh, we also learn about reproduction, cell division. All these are relevant to how life and man uh, processes can ensure continuity. So some questions that you can expect to see in the biology exam paper. So you see things like this, some, some things you have seen before, right? Like blood vessels, different types of uh, components in blood. But of course, you are going to learn more in detail uh, from, from what you've built up in lower secondary science. Uh, like I mentioned, you also learn how your eye works, uh, the different muscles, muscle groups and how they pull the lenses of your eye. Uh, you also will go into more detail with plants. I, I don't think you have seen much of plants in lower secondary bio. And uh, of course, if you take bio, you must be expected and prepared to be able to write. Also, you can expect to see in, in the pure bio papers some uh, long questions like this, where you have to write a whole essay to describe one process, seven marks. So if you are not so keen about writing, or if you are terrible at writing, your English is terrible, you cannot write a proper sentence, then bio might not be the most suitable for you. School-based assessment includes case-based studies. We study a lot of cases uh, with regards to medical conditions, with regards to uh, medical treatments. Uh, all these are important because bio is a very life, very real subject. You have to do practicals, obviously, and of course, um, understand concepts and then be able to mis uh, identify misconceptions. So are you suitable to take biology? If you really show an interest in, in living things, be it plants or humans or animals, and if you are confident that you can read, you can write, you can to some extent memorize concepts, memorize ideas, uh, or if generally you are keen to pursue a career subsequently in healthcare, medicine, nursing, dentistry, psychology, botany, zoology, pharmaceutical science, genetics. If you are more like a life science person, 
you are keen to go into life science, then bio is for you. You are suitable. But if you think that you are not that kind of person, you don't really enjoy looking at life. You prefer to look at, I don't know, wood, table, metal. Or if you don't think you are proficient in reading, writing, memorizing, or you really cannot memorize for nuts. And if you are not keen to go into the life science industry, then bio is probably not the most suitable for you. Okay, so that is the end of a quick introduction. If you have any questions, please, you, we are more than happy to answer or to give you advice. You can just contact me, Mr. Lim Kang Yu, in this email, or Miss Chu, she's the SH of uh, chemistry, or Miss Jessie Lee, subject head of biology. We are all happy to meet you, or speak to your parents, or just give you some advice on your subject combinations. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the science combinations in Set 3 and look forward to seeing and hearing good things from you in the future.